Hey, it's Jim Hamill here in downtown Honesdale, and Route 6 runs the entire length east to west of Pennsylvania and crosses right through Wayne and Pike counties here. And this year, we have two award winners for the Route 6 awards through the Route 6 Alliance. One for the Lackawaxen River Trails that we've told you about in the past, and the other is for a project spearheaded by a young woman by the name of Lisa Glover. And Lisa got together with some kids who had been spending a lot of time in this park along Route 6 and created a mural that is absolutely amazing. And for that effort, Lisa was awarded the Heritage Leadership Award for Route 6 in 2022. For years, this old railroad trestle in Honesdale was the target of graffiti artists, until a group of artists enlisted students to create a mural here. And within just months, this is the finished product. Lisa Glover was putting a protective coating over the mural, safeguarding the hard work that went into making this work of art. It was amazing for the community just to be able to come together and make this happen and to see that this kind of placemaking initiative that involves everybody is something that people are excited about. It's, it's, you know, it's just the cherry on top. Glover and several other volunteers spent time with the students designing the mural and eventually painting it. For the culture of this space to have changed so dramatically while keeping the same people here tells you the power of bringing a whole community in to make a difference in a space. Suddenly, everyone sees a piece of themselves here, whether they helped paint it directly or whether their friends did or whether they just you know, know that people came together to make it beautiful. The finished product was unveiled back in June, and in September, Glover was awarded the Heritage Leadership Award at the PA Route 6 Alliance annual meeting for her efforts, not just with the mural project, but with the Wayne County Arts Alliance and Honesdale Parks. It's incredible to see how everyone's different ideas work together. And, uh, and seeing that something like that, instead of something temporary, can have a, a long-term home, like this, you know, this beautiful mural, so that way people can continue to appreciate it long after a, a festival weekend, um, really, really gives the community something to smile about and be proud of over many years. Speaking of pride, another Route 6 award was bestowed on the Lackawaxen River Trails group this year for tourism leadership. It will be an economic driver, absolutely. It will bring people to Honesdale, to Holly, to, the, to our parks, to our restaurants, to our stores on our main streets. Molly Rogers is one of those spearheading the effort to develop water and land trails along the Lackawaxen between Honesdale, White Mills, Holly, and beyond. Holly's boat launch is complete. Next, hundreds of thousands of dollars in grants from the state will help build river accesses here in Honesdale, also in White Mills, and one in Indian Orchard. Recognition by the Route 6 Alliance and the recognition that we will also receive from the Pennsylvania Environmental Council are just so meaningful to us, um, especially because we're just getting started. Feasibility studies have been done, the engineering work is also nearly done, and construction will begin soon on those accesses, which will do more than just improve these properties along the river. There hasn't been a public access in Wayne or Pike County to the Lackawaxen River, and now with a system of public access points where you can park your car, you can put in your kayak, you can get out your fishing rod, you don't have to trespass on someone's land in order to get to the river. Congratulations to both award winners, making us all Pocono proud. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Pocono Tourism YouTube channel and click the bell button below to be the first to watch new videos. You can also click the link on the screen to watch more episodes of Pocono Mountains Magazine.